Hi there for great class. I'm super happy to be here on Friday and I hope that you are as ready as I am to start with today's class and finish with this week. So today we're going to finish activities on the student's book from unit 7 that if you can remember because I can't it's called special days. I always forget the name. So, and as you know, we are talking or we are learning in this unit about some activities, celebrations, holidays that we celebrate and also people from other countries celebrate, not necessarily our um, celebrations in Mexico, etc. So we are going to learn more about this. Um, to start with today's class, I want to do a review so we can remember the activities that we did at the last video. Not yesterday, because yesterday we had such an amazing time at the light class. It was nice. So if you miss it, try not to miss the next week on Thursday at the same time, 11 o'clock. So uh, we learned to write emails. And I show you the parts of an email. You needed to copy this in your notebook because, of course, it's necessary for you to study, to practice, and do your activities. I see that you are not even copy or you are not even using notebooks. I don't know if you don't have notebooks, but it's important to practice your writing. And yes, please, copy, use your little hands, people. And then we learned some new phonics. We have three that are with the same letters, but they sound different. So check it out. And we did activities on pages 92 and 93. And you needed to complete this by writing the parts of the letter. Then you, not a letter, it's an email. You needed to write your own email. I told you that you could write it to your teacher, to your mom, to your relatives, to your friends, a famous person, like a YouTuber, a gamer, um, a singer, an actor, etc. It's up to you. I don't care if you are sending it only if it's a good role model. But the important thing is for you to write your email and use all the parts of it. Also, um, I didn't need you to send me page 93 because there's nothing to write in there. It's just repeating. But you needed to record a video reading the chant on exercise 23. That is this one. Hi, Sue. Is it true? It's so cute. It's so blue. It's really huge. Is that a monster in the picture? So that's it. It's just a few seconds. Record yourself sending to me. If you haven't done this, please do it. It's important. So for today, we're going to review more about the future going to. Why more about this? Because it's important for you to do this and to know this. As you can see, um, remember that we always start our affirmative sentences with the subject and then we write the verb to be in present. Remember that we have three ways to write it, am, um, is, or are. Depending on this subject, remember that I always uses am and that's the only one that uses I am. You are. Or for example, what others use are, we are, they are. And is, as always, he is, she is, it is. And then you write going to and the verb in infinity. So for the negative sentences, it's the same, but you just need to add not between the verb to be and going to. And the questions, you need to change the place between the subject and the verb to be. And that means that you are going to, write, to begin your question with the verb to be, and then you are going to write the subject. For example, are you going to cook? And that's it. So the short answers are much easier. And you need to answer, yes, I am, yes, you are, yes, he is, etc. Okay? Using always the verb to be. Impressive. And then, if you want to say no, no, I'm not, no, you aren't, or you are not, no, he isn't, or no, he is not. You can use both of these ways. It's okay, okay? <laughs> so, some examples to review. 
We are going to have classes. We are going to have classes. Aquí uso una contracción que también es correcta, pero no siempre es necesario usarla, solo se las muestro para que vean que también, también se puede usar de, de esta forma. Es como decir, we are going to have classes. O puedes decir, we are going to have classes. ¿okay? Siempre que veas esto, no leas, we are going to have classes, porque no es lo que dice ahí. Aunque sean lo mismo, no es lo que dice ahí. Si tienes esto, vas a leer, we're going to have classes, ¿ok? Y si tenemos, he's going to have dinner, también podemos decir, he's going to have dinner. También poniéndole el apóstrofe y quitaríamos la i. ¿Ok? So, um, as you can see, we have the verb, the, the subject, verb to be in present, going to, and the verb. En estos dos tenemos have. ¿Ok? So, for the next examples, we have, I am not going to travel. They aren't going to travel. La primera, si la puedes ver, no tiene contracción. Está bien. Este, usualmente con I am no usamos I'm not. Um, es la única forma en la que se usaría, pero es más comúnmente usada con I am not going to travel, porque pues es la más corta, entonces hacerla más corta como que ya es mucho, ¿no? Ok, so the next one says the next. They aren't going to go to the park. Así, aquí sí tenemos la contracción, tenemos sujeto they. Then we have verb to be in present are plus the negative form not, que está contraído en aren't going to go to the park. ¿okay? Recuerda, siempre que uses una contracción, sea positiva o negativa, es importante ponerle la apóstrofe. ¿okay? Esta rayita que parece acento. Se llama apóstrofe. Y si no la pones, realmente no está correcto. Porque puede significar otra palabra, ¿ok? So, uh, is she going to have a party? ¿Ok? Are you going to the movies? And that's it. So, today we have students book pages 94 and 95. These are the last activities, the last pages from the students book in unit 7. Ok, so the first activity, activity 24, write a definition from the, for the word tradition on your own words. Don't find it on the internet, don't use a dictionary. Vamos a intentar hacerlo con nuestras propias palabras, in English of course. Pero ya como última alternativa usaríamos diccionario. I would prefer you not to, ok? So, um, you can write it in here, you don't need a lot of space, you don't need to write a paragraph. Ok, it's ok. Activity 25, listen and look, number the traditions in order. So, eh, vamos a escuchar el audio y vamos a ir poniendo los números, pero también eh, we are going to write, abajo de estas líneas, vamos a poner, además del número, the name of each tradition or each celebration, ok. Ya con ver las imágenes nos imaginamos más o menos qué celebración son, but... Let's take notes of it. Students book, page 94, activity 25. Listen and look. Number the traditions in order. Traditions are important to everyone. Families, schools, and other groups of people all have their own traditions. Listen to some kids talking about their family's traditions. Number one. Okay, number one. I live in Mexico. My family celebrates the Day of the Dead in November. On this day, we remember people who aren't with us anymore. There are many colorful candies and decorations on this holiday. Number two. My family lives on a big farm. Every year, a few days before Christmas, We go out and look for a Christmas tree. The whole family goes, and we find the perfect tree. We all have fun looking for a Christmas tree. Number three. One of my favorite family traditions is painting Easter eggs. Every year, my mother boils some eggs, and my friends and I paint them all kinds of bright colors. It's so much fun. Number four. Each year on the 4th of July, my family, like many other American families, 
hangs a flag in front of our house to celebrate Independence Day, the day the United States became a country. Do you do the same thing in your country? Okay, so you might know that not all of the countries have an Independence Day, but here in Mexico, we have our own Independence Day. So, the traditions were Christmas, Independence Day, Day of the Dead, and Easter. Could you write it? Lo puedes escribir. So, let's skip 26 and let's go all the way to 27 and the project. The project says, make a traditions around the world poster. Display your posters in the hallways of your school. We're not going to do that, of course, but we are going to make our own posters at home. Um, you can do it on like on a presentation from PowerPoint. You can do it on a piece of paper. Si no tienes cartulina, no es necesario hacerlo en una cartulina. Puedes usar varias hojas. O puedes hacerlo en una presentación, en la computadora, etcétera, como tú te ajustes a hacerlo. Pero sí es importante que intentemos hacerlo, ¿ok? It's the project, it's important. So, you're going to choose a celebration around the world, a holiday. Eh, you had some in here, ya, ya vimos algunas aquí. Christmas, Independence Day, Day of the Dead. Um, Easter and in the vocabulary we learn about some others so you can choose one o puedes investigar en internet alguna que te interese a ti eh, puede ser de otro país no importa but for example you are going to write like for example in Japan they celebrate children's day what things they do on children's day they wear costumes carp kites rice cakes and origami, ok? Estas son algunas de las ilustraciones. Y aquí les faltó poner qué día lo celebran, porque no todos lo celebramos en el mismo día, en la misma fecha, ok? So you need to write a title, the country, uh, from the tradition, etc. And some of the things that they do on this day, ok? Like origami, wear costumes, uh, rice, and the date. And that's it. So activity 28 says complete the dialogue using are going to, cook, is going to, are going to, made to be, okay? It's a conversation between Mike and his mom and you need to read this, understand this, so you can fill in the blanks. Uh, activity 29, research and answer the questions about a festival in another country, okay? Uh, puedes usar el mismo que hayas hecho aquí, solo si no se trató de México, okay? And the first question says, when do people celebrate this day? For example, um, July, the 4th of July. What do people do on this day? They eat a lot of food, they celebrate, um, they do parades, etc. The activities that they do on this day. And that's it. Please don't forget to send a picture of these two pages. Y una foto de ti mostrando tu poster o tu hoja o como lo hayas podido hacer, tienes que salir tú en la foto, ¿ok? Si no hay problema con eso. And that's it. Send the pictures of it. Write your name and also today's day. And I'll see you the next week. Have a nice and beautiful weekend. Stay safe. I'll see you the next week. Bye.